السلفي لابد أن يكون لغويا سلفي غير لغوي تعبان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه So this is our second lesson in this course the basics of Arabic reading and writing And before we start today's lesson let's quickly recap over what we took in our last lesson Last lesson we mentioned that the Arabic alphabet consists of 29 letters in total and we learned the first four letters we learned how to pronounce them and how to write them correctly alif alif ba ba ta ta tha tha we had homework last lesson the homework was to write five rows for each of these letters and when writing the rows or each letter individual letter we had to pronounce the letters i'm going to show you an example from one of the students who did his homework nicely mashallah just to give you a an a sample of how the homework should look like so he's done the alifs five rows and he's written them mashallah he's tried working hard some of them are straight some of them not so straight but he's kept them in line except for a few this is okay so he's skipped a gap mashallah that's good and he was saying the letters when he was writing them alif 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 so if you can imagine saying alif this many times hopefully inshallah that's ingrained in a person's mind very difficult to forget and the same with ba if some of them he's closed them like this one this is incorrect it should be open it should be open now but because we're still at the beginning stage then it's okay it's okay and he's done his taz and he's done his taz and it goes on to the next page but this is just to show you an example of how the homework should look like you put this on it becomes a hamza it becomes a hamza this is why i cut it off just to inform those who are wondering why it's shorter than the rest so so in today's class we're going to learn the next three letters we're only going to take three letters and these three letters belong to the same family in that they take the same shape they look exactly the same the only difference is the dots similar to ba ta and tha and some of you might be thinking why are we moving so slow why are we moving so slow in answer to that i give you this proverb which says a chain is only as strong as its weakest link a chain is only as strong as its weakest link i am doing this in order to benefit those who have just entered into islam those who might find it difficult to move at a fast pace and also to benefit the young children so if we move at their pace then it's going to benefit them and going to benefit everyone else but if we move at a fast pace it's only those who understand quickly who benefit whereas those who are moving slow are they going to lose out so this is why we we're, we're moving slow so we're going to take the next three letters as we said the first of these three letters is jim the first of these three letters is jim we're going to say it five times you need to repeat after me jim 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 that's in terms of pronouncing this letter a nice way of remembering this letter is looking at this stomach looks like it has a big stomach and it looks like it has food in the stomach all the time this jim eats a lot he eats a lot so he needs to do exercise people who need to do exercise where do they go they go to a gym 
But this letter goes to an Islamic gym. He goes to an Islamic gym. There's no free mixing in this gym. There's no music in this gym. And people are dressed modestly. That's gym. That's to help you. Remember, gym. Big stomach. Food inside his stomach all the time. Gym. Gym. In terms of writing this letter, in terms of writing this letter, as you can see, I've put it, yani it's halfway on the line. The body of the gym is half on the line. I didn't put it on top of the line because gym is from the letters that go below the line. It's from the letters that go below the line. So half of the body is going to be on top of the line and the remaining half is going to drop below the line. It's very important to remember these letters, the ones that go under the line. So gym and the letter that comes after gym and the letter that comes after that all go under the line. So when we're writing, we're going to start from halfway through the line, halfway through the line. And we're going to do this in three steps, three steps. First step is it's going to be a wave, a wave. So we go up and then bring the wave down and then go straight. Okay, so a small wave and then we go like this. This is step number one. After step number one, okay, so we have step number one. Step number two is we're going to go back on this line and then stop in the middle. We're going to stop in the middle. So we've gone to the right. When we reach the end, we need to go back on this line and then come to the middle. Once we come to the middle, we're going to write the letter C, the English C. But when we're writing this C, we need to be looking here. So once we reach here, once we reach this, we need to keep in line. So we're looking here to see if we've reached it. Once we reach that, we need to start bending or curving. Then we go straight down like that. Yeah. So once again, we do that. And then we do that. And then we make it straight. This part, if we were to draw a line like this, this part goes out a little. This is extends outwards. Whereas this part should be in line. This part should be in line. Taib. This is the three steps. Step number one, a wavy line. So just a little wave and then it goes straight. Second step, we need to go back to the middle. Then we write a C. It looks like a C, right? If you look at it like this, it looks like a C. You can start your C here, but make sure you split when it's in the middle of our first line. So three steps, three steps. And then finally, because this is the gym that always has food in its belly, we need to give him his food. Let's put the food in his belly. This is not going to be a gym without food in his belly. Remember, gym. This is the first letter that we're taking. Let's say it again, gym. Gym. The next letter, which belongs to the same family, is... Ha, not ha, not ha, it's ha, 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 with pressure. We're going to say it five times. Ha, 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 ha. Another or a way of remembering ha maybe is to remember the sound that you make when you eat chili. Sounds like a person who is has just eaten chili and it's burnt his mouth. What does he do? <laughs> Wants water. That's what this sound sounds like. So it's not ha. There's another letter that's going to come later on, which is ha. So this spelling in English, don't let it confuse you. It's actually ha, ha, ha. In terms of writing... It's exactly the same as gym, except that we take off the, the dot in the middle. Because this one doesn't always have food in his stomach like gym. 
It's only GM that needs to go to the gym. طيب. So I'm gonna move this along here. That's GM. This is H. This is H. The next letter, this is the final letter we're gonna take in this class, is خ. 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 We're gonna say it five times. خ. 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 And خ is a heavy letter. خ is a heavy letter. This is the first of the heavy letters. So every letter that we've taken before خ was a light letter. Light letter. The difference between heavy letters and light letters is the placement of the tongue. So with light letters, we mentioned previously, the tongue stays down. It stays like this. با, so you, you, it moves to where the articulation point and then it goes down and it, it stays uh, relaxed on the mouth. با, so just we'll say, if you had a fatha, جا, ح, whereas this, with an all other heavy letters, the back of the tongue rises. So it's kha, kha. So we have the letters are divided into two light letters and heavy letters. All the letters that we've taken so far are light letters. This is the first of the heavy letters. And in total, we're going to have seven heavy letters. In total, we're going to have seven heavy letters. خ is the first. Just to give you an, an example in English of light and heavy letters. That's A. I'm trying to write A a bit long. Okay. How would you read the A here? You'd say a apple. Apple. How would you read the A here? You'd say ought. Ought. This is example of light and heavy. So the same way you pronounce a, that's how the heavy letters are going to sound, which kha is part of. It's going to sound like this, a, a, and light letters are going to be sounding like a, a, ha, ja, ba, ta. I want you to make notes of these four things. We're going to have letters which rise and touch the line above. I've called them high-rise letters. High-rise letters. High-rise letters means they rise to the top. They rise to the top of the of the line uh, above it. And there's going to be six of them in total. So far, we've only taken Alif. Alif is the only high-rise letter that we've taken so far. So it rises and touches the top. There's going to be six in total. So leave some space. Then we have lines which go under the letter. Lines which go under the letter. These are called drop-down letters. I've called them drop-down letters anyways. There's going to be 18 in total. 18 in total. So, from the drop-down letters that we've taken today are these three. These three. Jim, because they, they, go under the they go under the line. They're going under the line. So, we're going to add this. Let me quickly add this. So this is what I mean. Drop down letters, the letters which go under the line. So, so far we've taken three. There's going to be a total of 18. These three are Jim, Ha, Kha. So leave some space. Then we're going to take heavy letters. Heavy letters are those letters that sound like art. Art. They don't sound like a ah, apple, apple. That means... If seven are going to be heavy, then the rest, which are going to be 22, are going to be all light letters. If seven are heavy, that means everything which is not part of these seven is going to be from the light letters, which is 22 in total. So we just need to know what these seven letters are. So if we know what these seven are, then we know that whatever is not part of this is from the light letters. And the first of these seven letters that we've taken today is Kha. And we're going to add onto our list as we go along. Then we have decorated letters. We're going to explain them in uh, when they come, inshallah. When the first of these letters come, we're going to explain it and we're going to add on our list. 
So create this list. Create this list and add to it as we go along. Barakallahu feekum. So let's quickly. Um, oh yeah, with the kha, before I forget, it needs a dot at the top. Kha. It sounds like someone who is clearing their throat. Maybe you can think of this dot as something stuck in his throat. So Kha has something stuck in his throat. He needs to clear it out. He needs to do that. Kha. 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 Okay, we're going to say the three letters together now. Jim. 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 Ha. 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 Kha. Heavy, yeah? Kha. Okay. Jim. Ha. Kha. Jim. Jim. Ha. Kha. Okay, I'm going to point. You tell me where it is, yeah? What's this? Jim. What's this? Kha. Okay, what's this? Kha. What's this? Ha. Okay. Subhanakallah, bihamdika, shadu Allah, ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka, atubu alayk.